Hi everyone, in one of my previous video, I did a small unboxing video of the DMM6500 multimeter from Kisly. And there is a feature of that multimeter which is quite unique and not very well documented and actually no one speaks about it on YouTube, well, almost. So I wanted to do a quick demonstration of that feature and that feature has the capability of the multimeter to do two measurements at the same time. So essentially with one multimeter, you can do the job of two multimeters. Or can you? Well, yes, but there are limitations. So I'm going to explore a simple use case, which is common. Um, and uh, we'll also explore the limitations together. Stay with me. The main measurement screen of the DMM6500 displays one measurement, like any other multimeter. But if you go into the menus, you can have a secondary measurement. So the first thing you, you would be tempted to try, for instance, is to enable the secondary measurement as a DC current measurement so that you could measure both a voltage and current, which is pretty convenient. But when you enable it, you get this. The relays keep clicking. And that's obviously very bad because you cannot necessarily replace these internal relays super easily. And because relays are mechanical components, they have a limited number of cycles. So essentially, if you keep that uh, in the in this mode for too long, you're going to reduce the lifespan of the multimeter and you don't want that. So how can we do it? Well, the reason the relays are clicking is because both measurements are in automatic range mode and the current, um, <laughs> the, I mean the, the, the current conditions uh, in which the multimeter is, is that the ranges do not match. So you have to force a certain range on both measurements in order for the relay not to click. So let's see how we can do that. Um, so let's go back to the settings of the current measurement, the primary, it's called the primary measurement in Kisly language. So I'm simply going to click here and I'm going to force that for instance to 10 volts. And then if I enable it, it keeps clicking. But I can swap, which means that the current measurement is now here. And then in the settings, I can now change the measurement range. And you see, if you select measurement ranges with matches with each other, then you no longer get the click. So that's exactly what we want. So now if I go back here, I can see that I have both voltage and current at the same time. So that's great because it means that you have two multimeters in one package. So essentially you pay for one multimeter and you get two of them. Or do you? Well, yes and no. You do, but there are some limitations. And the major limitation is that um, you're going to have um, a, a coupling between the two measurements. If you have two multimeters, they would be entirely floating uh, if you compare their voltage reference with each other. So you can collect them the way you want. Uh, you can do the measurements the way you want. But because there is a shared terminal between the voltage measurement and the current measurement, so that's essentially the, the middle terminal here, you're going to have to be uh, a little creative, if I could say, uh, to, to be able to do both voltage and current measurement at the same time. And there will be situations where you will not be capable of doing the measurement, uh, simply depending on what exactly you want to measure. So uh, do not expect this instrument to replace two separate multimeters. However, in a pinch, it's definitely going to be super helpful and it's definitely a selling point when you compare it with other multimeters which don't have that feature. So I'm not saying it's a bad feature, but you just have to be mindful of the limitations. Uh, you, you, you cannot necessarily have the range you want. And also you have this shared terminal here, wh wh which can be a problem in some situations. So now that I've told you how to enable that feature and now that I've told you the major limitation about it, what we're going to do is we're going to try it and we're going to see if it works and we're going to see how we can work around the limitation in a real life measurement. So we have our 5 volt input here, our 3.3 volt output from the DCC converter and our multimeter. And now what we want to do, remember, is measure both the voltage at the output of the DCC converter and the current that goes uh, from the output to the load. So let's wire the multimeter for the voltage first. So what we're going to do simply is to 
connect the output of the converter to the load, um, connect the positive, if I can call it the positive side of the multimeter like this, and the negative to ground. Easy enough, right? And now what about the current? If we want to measure the current, what we're going to do is super simple. Um, this and this. Pretty pretty easy, nothing special. And now we want to combine both measurements. So if we look for a second at the measurements that we have on the multimeter, um, we have a problem. We have a problem because remember the terminal wh when you do the measurement, the terminal at the center here is shared between the two measurements. And in voltage measurement mode, it's connected to ground. But in current measurement mode, well, both the um, the, the two terminals used for the measurements are referenced to the 3.3 volt, volt uh, rail here. So how can we make that work? Because it seems like we can't, right? Well, there is a solution, but we have to be a bit creative. So let me show you. So we have to do the current measurement, and there are no um, 30 ways to do it. So we're going to wire it like this. But again, if it's right like that, um, you, you you can't use the positive the, well the, the positive terminal of the voltage measurement. So what you're going to do is something a bit counterintuitive. You're going to connect it to ground because when you do that, your current measurement is fine, and it's just going to invert the reading you're going to get for the voltage, right? So you'll, you'll be able to do both voltage and current measurement in that situation. So as you see, yes, you can do two measurements at the same time, but you have to deal with the limitation of that terminal at the center here being shared with um, the two measurement mode. And there will be situations where it means that you won't be able to use the DMM6500 to do uh, two measurements at the same time, or at least not the measurements that you, you, you want to do. So just keep that in mind. What we're going to do now is put that in practice and do a measurement on one little project to see how it works uh, in the real world. This is a little project I'm working on. It uses a 5 volt input, 5.5, that's on purpose, but um, let, let's say it's 5 volts, it doesn't really matter. And there is a small DC DC converter right here that supplies 3.3 volt to the rest of the board. So, what I want to do is measure the voltage of this DC DC converter, the voltage output, and also how much current goes to the rest of the circuit. What I'm going to do is do the wiring as per the previous diagram. The first thing to do, obviously, is to isolate the output of the DC-DC converter from the rest of the circuit. So this is the output of my DC-DC converter on this wire here. And if we remember from the previous diagram, the output of the DC-DC converter was going to one of the terminals of the key sleeve, and specifically this one here. Okay, that's one. And now I have to connect the load. And if we remember from the previous diagram, the load was being connected to another output, another terminal of the Kisli. That's normal, we want the Kisli to be in series between the DCC converter and the load. So we connect it like this. And finally, for the voltage measurement, we have to connect the top terminal of the Kisley to ground. So I'm simply going to use a jumper wire between the ground of the power supply, which is my system ground, and the Kisley. And now that everything is connected, I'm just going to start the power supply, and we're going to see if it works. Seems like it does. So let's see what we have. The current is approximately 80 milliamps, 
and the voltage is 3.2 volts, 3.26. And notice the minus sign here, but that's because, as I explained before, we have connected the positive side of the voltage measurement to ground due to the limitations of the, the center pin of the multimeter being referenced to the frequency rail, but it still gives you the voltage you want. So that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. Um, I would like to thank the subscriber who gave me the idea to do this short video. I hope it was helpful to you. Um, it also demonstrates that the Kisley is really a groundbreaking instrument. In my opinion, it has a lot of interesting features like this one. It's not perfect, but there will be situations where you, you need an extra multimeter and uh, it, can, uh, it can help you. Not, it won't work all the time, but when it works, it's pretty helpful. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, well, see you next time.